Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a new thing. A new well not a new thing. It's it's something that most Isaac people have probably seen something. It's every item is blank. Thank you for Huts for the inspiration for this video, but I I yeah, you know, that's about it. But the thing is, every item this time is sci-fi. Now Hear me out. <laughs> Sci-Fi is not exactly the greatest offensive item, but when he deflects bullets, remember he shoots a um it shoots a homing tier back. So we might be struggling in the first few floors, but hopefully once we reach one of the final bosses, we should be good to go. Right into it. Alright, now as you can see, I should probably remove the D6. Remove D6. Can I still move? Yes. Alright, let's do this. So, the whole point of this challenge is to see... Can sci-fi truly carry? Now, you've heard of the great tales of Sissy. Long legs from Hots again. Or, no, I think that's Sinvicta, right? Sinvicta. Hots is like, a uh, Curly, you know, the stone man. But Sissy is basically Sinvicta's mascot, so... <laughs> Let's see, is Sci-Fi worthy enough to become a mascot on his own? Can Sci-Fi carry... Oh, I hate this enemy. Ah, oh, goddammit. I'm a little bit rusty, because I haven't played this game in, like... Uh, like a week or so? So, D4, not bad, I guess. But, what we're gonna do instead is give... Item... Sci-Fi... And there we go, we have our first lad. Our first main man. Now, he does do a little bit of contact damage, but it's not nearly enough to just carry, so. We are going to have to, uh, we're gonna struggle, that's for sure. We are going to struggle, especially in rooms that enemies, where enemies don't shoot, which is most of the first couple floors, like, most of the rooms on the first two floors, basement one and two, most of the enemies there just don't shoot. Like, you got a bunch of contact damage enemies, so that's where we're gonna struggle the most. So, yeah, I'm not super good at this game either. <laughs> and that's always a detrimental thing when you're trying to pass life with minimal pain. We want to go for angel deals, so if we can get five cents, that would be greatly appreciated. Or a key. Honestly, not, not the worst thing in the world. Alright, let's just go. Great, another boss that doesn't shoot very many tears. The whole point with Sci-Fly being the carry is that he can deflect homing shots back into the enemy, right? So, he is the damage dealer. See, like that, like that, like that. Now, one Sci-Fly is already plenty for most of the game. But the whole question of this challenge is, can a lot of Sci-Flies carry? Just as well as... Plus, I want to just, I just want to see, if we don't get to Hush, I'll probably just teleport myself there. Because I want to see, how does, how do a lot of Sci-Flies work? Like, do they all go after the same bullets? Will it end up just, like, being one Sci-Fly, technically? Or will we get some sort of unique interaction with the items? So, that's the main, that's the, that's the play here. Now, once we get three of them, we'll be able to get Beelzebub, which would be very useful, but... Anyways, let's go. Great. Curse of the Unknown. Here we go, shooting enemies, finally. Let's see. Yeah, they both go after the bullet, but... I feel like where we're probably gonna shine the most here is if they all go after one bullet, then they'll all do contact damage to the enemy, or at least hopefully a few of them will do contact damage. Wheel of Fortune, I'll probably put that next to the secret room. Or actually, no, it might be a better idea to Wheel of Fortune here. Oh, but what if up there was the secret room? I should have put it... Uh, oh, that's another sci-fi, yo. Yo, that's good too, damn. New item, sci-fi. We are now Beelzebub <laughs> with three, three sci-fis. I did not expect it to go this well. I thought we were going to get like... I don't know. I don't know what I thought we were going to do, honestly. Now, enemies that do contact damage are going to be the most troubling thing here. 
because, um, well, obviously, Psyfly doesn't deflect enemies that do no contact, that do contact damage, so, duh, a long time, a couple, oh, we are BAs above, so, Psyflies are our friend. The reason why it seems a little bit awkward is mostly just because I haven't recorded in a couple of days. I haven't streamed in a couple of days, and I'm, I mostly stream, so it's kind of unusual for me to just sit here and, well, I guess it's not that unusual, is it? <laughs> sit here and talk to nobody, that's what I do when I stream anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, comedy. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I, that's what we want, yes, we want health. Because even though I don't think I've taken a single point of damage other than one enemy so far, Baby Plum, let's see. This is the tr first true test of sci -fi's. Oh my god. The insanity. Oh wow. We are gonna just decimate, aren't we? Holy crap. We still took damage. <laughs> just because, bro, look at the amount of blockage. Look, it's just... Oh my god. I'm so bad at this game. Look at the amount of blocking that does. Jesus. Oh, I took that. I can't take those hearts. Damn it. Um, remove Dolly, Mr. C, 370C, please. Well, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to take it. Give item sci fly. Have five sci flies now. We can't take those hearts because that would be cheating. That would be cheating. Let's go. Hmm, ah, uh, these enemies. Oh, wait, never mind. We get all of them, friends. Yo, another pretty fly. We're just flying, man. Look at the amount of flies I have. Oh my god. I'm unstoppable already. It's been like... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll check in a second. It's been six minutes and we're already on the third floor. That should show you just how powerful this is. Plus the Beazelbug transformation is just so fitting for this challenge. The amount of tears. I'll just take it. Speed up. Yes. Pills are good because they are the only stat ups we can get. Whoa! Well, honestly, it seems a little bit overpowered. <laughs> Just casually does a challenge where it's one of the most overpowered items in the game. Or it's not a challenge. It's really not. This is not, not a challenge. It's just easy. It's not a challenge. I would like a key, though, for the next... Uh, yeah, I would like a key for that item, man, please. Officially not a challenge, man. Look at the amount of flies I have. Well, the Ace of Love alone is kind of a carry, but... With 15 sci flies by my side as well? Holy crap. I wish there was a way to remove transformations, but I guess we'll just have to deal with it. Oh, wow. I guess we'll just have to deal with it, you know. Bigger. Key. <sighs> For an active item I don't have. Very sexy. I would like a key though because um I want to unlock the item room. We need to see. We need to get as many flies as we possibly can get. Okay, that's the goal. The goal. It's no longer how far can we get. It's how many flies we can. How many flies can we get? So yeah. Hmm. I guess we're going to the challenge room. Wow. I was gonna try and get a key there, but I guess I just don't get one. You know. Hmm, there we go. I guess we're full clear. Why not? This is hard mode after all. That's what your girl said. I'm gonna be really mad when we come across a really good item in the item room, and I'm gonna have to pass it up for sci-fi. Although I guess, I guess sci-fi isn't that bad, alright? I would probably rather have sci-fi than most items in the game. Just because he's wacky. Alright. We should not be stoppable. Peep, you think you have any sort of challenge? You think you have any sort of anything, Peep? Well, I am I hate to break it to you, Peep, but sadly, that's not how this works. Wow. Holy crap, bro. All the eyes. Bro. <laughs> Come on, shoot some more bullets, Peep. You know you want to. Bro, it's just the fact that they all go charging that it, it just makes it so amazing. Right? Give items, sci fly. That's a seventh. And that's not an eighth, but that's very helpful. Thank you. 
Do we want to go key pieces? I guess we'll go key pieces. The angels don't actually shoot that many tiers, though, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to do the angels with the base starting stats, you know. Hopefully, the few moments that they do shoot tiers, though, it's going to be really easy. Oh, ah. Damn it, I thought I could matrix my way past him with this. Just do contact. Sci-Fi does a little bit of contact damage, and that's going to carry us. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll take the key pieces. All right, uh, that was Flooded Caves 1. Not bad at all. Oh! Okay, right, well, this isn't fun. This isn't good. This is BS, actually. Oh, wow. Whoa, I lagged a little bit there. What is that? Oh, okay. Hey, we got a soul heart back. All right, yes, sci-fi, shooting enemies. Shooting enemies, yes. So the only thing we want, health up. I've just been getting the best pills, what the hell? Wow, that was dumb. Just been getting the best pills so far, damn. It is a little bit hard to keep track of my character just because unlike a normal orbital, sci-fi is like 15 feet away from my actual character, so. It's a little bit difficult. I don't know how I'm still dying. This is not this is not cash money. That's an old me in my now. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho Damn boy. Holy god. Oh, I guess we're taking this room now. <laughs> taking this room like Yeah, yeah right. Easy. Could this be any easier? Probably, yes, if we had, like, a lot more sci-flies. I want to see what happens when we start to reach the point where the sci-flies are just going to overlap with each other. Like, orbitals do, when you have enough of them. I still don't have any keys. Uh, stupid game, bro. What is this dumb stuff? Bull malarkey. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Just shoot, and it'll be over for you. Anytime one of the enemies shoots, it's over. 18 sci-fis to descend from my <laughs> descend from my arms into the <laughs> into the bodies of that enemy. Alright, almond milk, yeah, no thank you. BFF Aw, uh, do I do it? Aw oh, man. Yeah, F though. I almost wanna do it. But no, it's a challenge, okay? It's a challenge. We'll see what all the flies look like BFF at the end of this video. I almost said stream. I've got streaming on the mind, bro. Whoa, my controller had a heart attack there for a second, Jesus. Alright, it looks like we're facing the dark one. No. No. An enemy that has a brimstone attack is a bad enemy for me. He does shoot, though. Which is good. As long as he doesn't do brimstone, I'm good. I, I, I'll probably... I'll probably take this dub. Ah! Uh, oh, get exploded. It's not like the adversary where he has a homing brimstone. That's so cheap, bro. The adversary is the worst enemy in the game. Come on. The worst boss in the game, by far. The only bosses that I'd say are probably more annoying than the adversary. Bloat, obviously, but still. That's a given, I feel like. Alright, another sci-fly. <laughs> Alright, look time to look for the secret room. Here? Here. Nope. Uh I say we just go. I say we just go. <laughs>
we might actually die. And that's concerning. Because this is supposed to be... This isn't supposed to be a challenge, but I guess it is now. Alright, guys. We rewrite the script. It's now a challenge. Uh, crap. It's just a bunch of brimstone enemies. Yes. Okay, we're probably not gonna die now. Thank you. It's been 24 minutes. Jesus. Probably not gonna die now, he says. He was good mom. This is gonna be concerning, to say the least. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, I always try and dodge it, but it doesn't work. Oh, okay, Curse of the Darkness is really just shoving a schlong right in there, isn't it? Come on, die, die, die! Yes, okay, good. Uh, this is not good, though. Hmm. Do we take the negative for the damage up? We I say we take the forward. Womb XL. Perfect time to use that. Uh, let's go down, then. Thankfully, in the womb, there are a lot more enemies that shoot. Like, actual tears and stuff. I'm not gonna give myself, uh, oh, wow. I'm not gonna give myself a sci-fi for the negative and Polaroid, because that's just, like, cheating. Whoa! Lock up. Please, please, please. No. There's a lot of enemies in the womb that shoot. <laughs> ah, yes. Clearly. This is not going well. I thought this would be way easier than it is. I guess it just goes to show how many things in this game are actually contact damage based. Alright, this is... I just can... Some enemies shoot. I've only gotten, like, one room. Oh! No, I have Polaroid, I have Polaroid, I have Polaroid, and it's really... This is not good. We're actually dying. I guess I just gotta use my godlike dodging skills. Oh, crap, there's two of them now. This is getting out of hand! Now there's two of them! <gasps> no! No! Shard. Well, uh, I guess that's gonna be about it for this video. Whatever. This was a complete failure. I thought this was gonna go away, buddy. I'll probably do a second, a second one. All right. I'll, I'll do it, and I'll attempt it again. We have to get to at least mom. All right. That's how it's. I mean, we have to get to the womb. That's how it's gonna go. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching this absolute failure of a video. Be sure to uh, subscribe and all of that stuff and like if you want to i guess it's always awkward when i say it but anyways thank you guys for watching and as always have a good one peace